For years, there have been rumors that Donnarumma would be leaving AC Milan. It's 2021, and it finally seems like those rumors are coming to life. Guys, welcome back to IFTV. Mm. There is a lot of news. The season is over. The transfer market doesn't open until July 1st, but IFTV is going to be back with transfer videos all summer long. That's and we're cool. starting off today with so many topics. Mike, we're going to talk about Donnarumma. Most likely leaving AC Milan. The new goalkeeper that they've gotten to replace him. Rumors of Ronaldo leaving. And all these coaches that are on the move right now. Mike, let's start off with Donnarumma. The Donnarumma news. Uh, let, I'll, I'll read the news and then we'll we'll jump in on our opinions. Sounds good. 35 days until Donnarumma's contract expires with AC Milan. Gazetta reporting that they didn't even respond to Milan's 8 million euro season offer. And the club is fed up. And they do not want to give Mino Raiola the super commission on top of this contract. Anto Vitiello, who's a great Milan journalist, has even said that Milan, after the match, uh, Donnarumma after the match, told his Milan teammates that he is no longer going to be renewing and he's leaving AC Milan. His demand was 12 million euros a season. Wow, this is, first of all, this is crazy. Um, I feel like we've seen Donnarumma gr uh, grow up at Milan like almost like where the parents watching them grow up. But I like how Milan have to put their foot down and show that no no one's bigger than the club. No one walks all over Milan like this. So if the demands are true and Donnarumma really does want this crazy uh, astronomical number, I think it might be time that uh, they part ways. I do, I do agree and I respect that the club uh, finally is taking a stance and putting their foot down because in the past, I would say that Milan management would have just let a player rule them. And I respect Maldini and co for, for saying this and, and standing firm. Now, the problem does become that there are other teams that are interested in Donnarumma right now. The reports are that PSG, Man U, Barca, and Juventus all want to sign Gijo, of course. He's 22 years old and one of the best goalkeepers in the world. The reports are saying that Barca and Juve have already put 10 million euros at the door in front of Gijo to take him. Of course, you know, I would love Gijo Donnarumma <laughs> as a Juventus fan. Uh, it would be, I think it would be very difficult because they still have Chesney and I don't think you're going to keep both. It's also financial troubles for a lot of teams, but... There is zero transfer fee. Milan are losing him on the free. Guys, let us know down below what you think about this whole Donnarumma situation. It's absolutely insane. But having said all of that, I will commend the Milan management because they've got a very capable replacement already signed for the club. He just took his medicals. His name is Mike, Mike Magnon. Mi Mignon? Mignon. 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 We had some French people give us lessons on how to say it. That's we still didn't come to it. They're probably conclusion. cracking up at us right now. 13 million a season plus uh, 13 million plus 2 million in bonuses for the player from Lille. He'll make 2.8 million euros a season. Lille, the French team that did win the league this season. The kid is good. He's 25 years old. He's turning 26 very soon. But this season, he had the most clean sheets in Europe with 21 and only conceded 23 goals this year. I mean, Marco, I'm not going to lie to you and be like, oh, he's the next big thing. He's this, he's that. I never heard of him before. All I know that, like you said, 21 clean sheets. They won the league with Lille, so he has that 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 mentality with him. He's a winner. Uh, he's a little bit older than Donnarumma, but much cheaper. I think I, I'm just excited to watch him play uh, when he officially signs with Milan. I wouldn't say he's a winner after just winning once. I think it takes time to develop a winning mentality. It's a but star. what I will say is that he's a cheap goalkeeper, and from what I'm hearing, he's a beast. And the kid is good. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the keeper. But it seems like they Milan have done really good business. And I respect Milan for closing this so quickly. They didn't just fumble yeah. and look for a replacement last second. Which leads me to Inter, who needs a goalkeeper. What the hell are you doing? 15 million euros for this kid and you don't sign him when you need a keeper? I don't know. I'm looking at you guys. I'm looking at maybe they don't. I, I don't. I don't know. Martini's I don't know. But quick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Martini's quick. Respect. Uh, let's move on to some more crazy news, which is. Uh, and by the way, for everyone that's watching, make sure you subscribe. 
We saw a stat that 70% of the people that watch this video are not subscribed. If you want to stay up to date, you want to find out Donnarumma's next team, Ronaldo leaving, subscribe because we're, we're making daily content now. Gattuso officially signed for Fiorentina. Mike, out of nowhere, they appointed him as their next coach. There's no official announcement on the, the length, the term, but the reports are saying that it's a two-year deal. Comiso, the owner of Fiorentina, said, I'm convinced that Gattuso will help us to progress. His professional and personal background shows that he will bring determination, competence, and desire to our club. Michael, reaction. First reaction, shock. This came out of nowhere. There's no reports on this. They did this on the down low. There were some reports, but they said that, that he had rejected them. Yeah, I'm saying reports for him uh, being close. But... I like Gattuso, so I think a lot of people like Gattuso, he's just one of those people you can't hate. Uh, and he's better than Prandelli, Iacchini, and Montella. So I think this is the best case scenario from Fiorentina. And I feel like Gattuso has a lot of proof, especially since there's not going to be as much pressure to deliver like a Champions League spot like uh, at Napoli or at Milan. I like what you said about the other coaches, because after a series of coaches that I was not a fan of, Montella, Iacchini, Prandelli, mm. Fiorentina have finally gotten a coach that I will agree with, that I will say this was a great opportunity. Gasp uh, Gasparini, Gattuso, I think that this is his level. I think his level is this right now. He's going to help make this team get to where they're supposed to be. This Fiorentina is made to challenge for Europa League. That's the goal of the for team, sure. with the players there. Calabria is calling. He's going to get along very well with Comiso, I think. Uh, so I love this move. Good job by Fiorentina wrapping this up right away. And underneath, nobody, they were talking about it, but they had it wrong. They were saying this a while back. Good job. I'm very excited for Gattuso and Fiorentina. And more coaching merry-go-round. I don't know what's happening in Italy. Juric to Torino is official, as well as De Zerbi to Shakhtar. No one had these moves on the card. Somehow, Torino managed to sign Juric after having a great season at Ellis Verona. We knew he was going to leave. And then De Zerbi goes to Shakhtar and will fight for UCL qualification. Yeah. Mike, reaction? Juric, I don't know how Torino bribed him and got him because <laughs> Torino were almost won a Serie B and Juric was uh, doing so much with so little at Verona the past two seasons. He was producing magic with the players that he had. So I think next season, Torino aren't going to be fighting to stay up in Serie A. I think they're going to be fighting more on the top end of the table. And for De Zerbi, it seemed like no pop club in Italy wanted him and now he's taking his chance. I respect what he's doing. If he does well and shows his uh, amazing football in Champions League, uh, the sky's for the limit for him. The top clubs are going to be calling for him in the uh, next Shakhtar few years. Shakhtar finished in second, so they're not automatically in Champions oh, League. He's going to have to get them into qualification. Okay. But I respect this from this Zerbi. You know what? Nobody in Italy, you don't want yeah. me? Guess what? I will go abroad. Bold. I know what I did with Sassuolo. I know my mentality. Go there and prove yourself. I respect this a lot from this Zerbi, and we're wishing him all the luck. Final topic that we're talking about right here. And guys, if you're enjoying this and you want more, make sure you like this video right now. Let's see how many likes we can run up over here. I think Let's we could do a good guys. job. Ronaldo leaving Juve. Everyone has freaked out over his Instagram post yesterday where uh, he commemorated his achievements at Juve and all the teams that he's played for and added that this is... Uh, but but he added this part that everyone started freaking out to because it felt like a goodbye almost mm -hmm. where he said, thanks to everyone who took part in this journey. Afterwards, Momblano came out saying that he's more likely to leave. Uh, let us know if we should interview Momblano. Text him right now and see. If you guys want us to interview him, let us know. Another boom, Mike, right? Thoughts? Man, this one... This one Hurt a little bit because yo Ronaldo having a you know one of the best players in the world playing in Serie A just amazing watching him uh, every week, and now some rumors saying he might leave. To what do you me make of the post? Is that a goodbye? There are some people saying that he changed his Instagram bio and took out Juventus player also. I don't know if it's. I true. don't want to believe it, but it does seem like it does seem like yo this chapter is closed. But I don't want to lean to that. To me, maybe, you know, with the drama with he didn't play last game against Bologna, maybe it seems like Ronaldo's not dedicated into the project. It seems like Juve, are, their next target is fighting for the Scudetto again rather than Champions League, and Ronaldo already has a Scudetto, so maybe he wants to try his luck somewhere else. I don't know, to be honest. Maybe I'm naive, but I saw the post. I didn't think anything of it, to be honest with you. You weren't and a then, skeptical? No, but then I saw the backlash on social media. I saw everybody freaking out. I was like, wait, am I stupid? Am I not? Am I 
looking at something different. I thought he was just commemorating his achievements that he had because he was mentioning other clubs. You know, the Coppa Italia was the last trophy that he needed in Italy. So again, maybe I was naive from that standpoint. I still think Ronaldo's going to remain. Okay. And I also find it hard to believe or find it hard to imagine that another club is going to pay because you would need $30 million for a transfer fee for him to be able to be sold. His salary is over $30 million. He gets a lot of tax benefits from being in Italy. I just find it hard to believe that he's going to go somewhere else. That's my opinion. I may be wrong. In the comment section below, we've mentioned a lot of things. I want to know about Ronaldo. Do you think he's leaving? Do you think he's not? His Instagram post. Is everybody just blowing it out of proportion? Donnarumma, Mignon, 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 Mignon. Mignon, Mignon. I'm trying to say filet mignon. I don't know. I don't know how, if I'm saying it right. I'm trying to figure it out. Guys, right. in the comments down below, make sure you like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new. And, and I don't know. ItalianFootballTV.com for merch. Guys, if you want to see us keep doing this, yes, please subscribe. Please like. And this summer is going to be crazy yes. with transfer rumors. Guys, we'll see you soon. Ciao, Ciao guys. guys.